Hi everyone, it's time for a word bomb. I love God's word. Uh, it's a way that we just kind of connect with God and allow him to uh, uh, get his mindset into our mind. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about a scripture I touched on on this weekend's message. And it's from Philippians 4, 6. And it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation... By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And, you know, for so often I looked at this scripture as kind of a command or a direct, like, here's what God is saying for me to do, which it really is. But when you look at a scripture like this that says, do not be anxious about anything, I want to encourage you to kind of flip it not only as a command or a direct um, thing that God is asking us to do, but I want you also to consider that if he's asking us to do it, he will give us the ability to do it. And so this weekend I talked about uh, having peace and living without fear in the tumultuous times that we're in. And I want to encourage you to take this scripture, Philippians 4, 6, and not only take it as a command or something that God's telling you to do, but also receive it as a promise. That if he says, do not be anxious about anything, he'll give you the ability to do that. And he actually connects. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm actually going to take uh, the my three word bombs for this week and kind of stay on this scripture and uh, the, the, this text. So what I'm going to do, uh, basically hover around verses um, 6 through 8 in Philippians chapter 4. But in uh, staying on 6 today, it says, he says, don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation. So now he's telling you, okay, so he told you not to be anxious, and that means you have the ability to. But then he kind of connects to it the avenue by which not to be anxious. And he says, in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And so we have the ability to be we, we are invited into the presence of God to make our requests known and uh, with petitions. And he wants us to be thankful. So I want to encourage you to make sure that we are thanking God. Encourage you to thank God every single day. Think of something specific. Uh, thank him for another day. Thank him for um, things that are going on in your life. Thank him for uh, what his word. Thank him for his son, Jesus Christ, and all that Jesus has done. And uh, make it a priority to be thankful. Thankfulness feeds contentment. Even be thankful for those around you. Uh, make it a point to be thankful for those that God has put in your life. And so be thankful and let God know your requests and um, spend time with him. And, and this is uh, this kind of a starting point to living free from anxiety, uh, living in a place with God where we we trust Him with our requests. And so I want to encourage you, take that first step, or maybe you're already in that uh, that habit, keep that habit going and, and help others live in that way too. And watch how um, fear will uh, leave your heart, anxiety will leave your heart, and um, God will continue to move in your life in a, in a a fresh way when we stay connected to him. And so, Father, I pray that as we look at this scripture where you say, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, uh, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let our requests be made known to you. God, I thank you that it's not only a command, but it's also a promise. God, you give us the ability to live free from anxiety. And so, God, let your presence permeate our hearts. Let your spirit empower us as we move forward. And we lean on you in every single day, every situation. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope your Monday uh, goes well and you um, find some time to, to really just connect with God.